Have you ever wondered what's actually inside an artificial intelligence tool? You no doubt use one or more of them, such as ChatGPT or Gemini. You probably use their traditional generative text. But did you know that there's other types of AI available to you as a professional that you can use right now in your business? And to do this, I welcome Dean Mercado, the CEO of Online Marketing Muscle. He's our expert today, and he's going to help us see AI's real potential. Dean, welcome to the program. Well, thanks, Jeff. I'm glad to be here. Now, the question for all of you, am I Dean or am I AI? Oh, think about that, folks, because that's the kind of stuff that's coming down the pipe. Very I think, <laughs> I think if I knew what you had for breakfast as real Dean, I could ask AI Dean and he wouldn't know. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> but these days, you got these devices, they're all listening to you. They're all watching you. It's, it's a little creepy, but it's the reality, unfortunately, or fortunately, however you perceive it. I'd love to preface this, if I may, though, Jeff, with, with one big point. Now, the purpose of AI is twofold right? One, it's got to make you money. Or two, it's got to save you time. You know, the, the key word that applies to both of those is leverage. It has to help you get leverage on your business. If it's not doing that, then it's kind of a hobby, a toy, or some, it's a nice to have, not a need to have. So I, I caution all of you, um, as you can very easily, the best of us, easily get drawn down these rabbit holes be conscious of why you're looking to use that tool and stay on point and make sure that you're proving that it does make you money or save you time. So that being said, I mean, uh, and you want to add to that, Jeff? Am, am I off target, on target with that? How do no, you you're right that? on target. And, Good. and I think it helps with creativity. It helps with a lot of things we need, but you're right. Those are the two main things that it has to do. Otherwise, why do it? Absolutely. It could be a, the biggest distraction that you've ever had in your life. You know, kind of like how social media was when it first came out. Big distraction, right? Mm -hmm. You so, know, use these tools. They're great, but make sure you have a business case for it. Mm -hmm. Make sure it makes sense. Absolutely. And, and I agree, Jeff, even just with ChatGPT, you can do a heck of a lot of good stuff with one tool. One tool. Right. And I'm not sure how that all works, Dean, with, with my subscription to ChatGPT. And all the things, there's 50, 100 options inside that that are right. other companies, other developers. And obviously, that's just one AI tool that I use. I use Copilot as well. Um, but there's other things too. You can research websites. You can, you can ask a certain tool to go out and do an industry report. Absolutely. Or you can check out your competition and say, Absolutely. what are the elements of their website that works for them that I can do? There's Absolutely. so many things. Here's a cool one right on that, on that note that I recently came across. It's called agent.ai. And it's made by one of the co-founders of HubSpot. And on that tool, if you open up a free account, and right now it's free to use. If you're, especially if you're a B2B, so if you're a commercial cleaning company and you want to research a company that you're interested in going after and trying to get their business, you can go and use the, the tool on agent.io, um, whatever it was, and you could plug in that company's name, URL, and it will give you the whole skinny on that company. Exactly. I mean, it's just amazing. And again, it's a tool that I trust because it comes from the guys at HubSpot. So, I mean... I'll trust it. They're a good company or a solid company. They've been around a long time. You know, um, yeah. they're just sharp guys. But that stuff exists. They even have a tool on there, that same tool set on that agent.io, whatever it is, um, that'll actually analyze your website for you and tell you uh, a handful of ideas that you can use to improve it. You could Frank. dump an Excel document in there and ask it to do a report. Exactly. And, and this is the kind of stuff that people have to realize this stuff exists. And, you know, as a business coach, I'm very often telling people, you have to have a brand voice. You know, once you start sounding like everybody else, then why are people going to bother with you? Oh, and that you can tell. Voice, yeah, and you, you can, can tell. tell. There you are certain tell. words that, that ChatGPT uses over and over and over again. It just does. It flowery words. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A lot of it. And a lot of it, a lot of it is just junk. Mm -hmm. But you know, the better you get at prompting it, 
That's true. The better the output you're going to get. And you can actually tell it, don't use these words or don't use this kind of language or don't use that. And, and it'll, it'll understand it learns, especially if you're using like the, the $20 a month paid chat GPT version. And that's the point. Smart. It does figure out what you want and, and the prompts and the thumbs up and down help when you regenerate something, do, do, do we do it better? It's asking you so it can learn what you want it to do. Absolutely. So really, I mean, the sky's the limit, right? Thank you.